All right, let's try an experiment. I have here a Jack Reed 240 right here. Uh, and right here is a little solar panel. So what I found on this was this solar panel I bought at Harbor Freight is 1.5 watts. It's utilized with uh, trickle chargers, supposedly to keep your battery charged. So 1.5 watts, and it was 14.99. Everyone charged your battery charge. You can unhook this. These two parts right here. Jack Reed 240. Can it power it? I know it's not going to give me 60 watts of solar panel, but would it be of use when I don't feel like taking my huge 90 watt solar panel with me? It takes up a lot of room. And I'm not really wanting to spend the money um, for the folding one from Jackery. Um, let's see if it'll work. I'd only really need it for a trickle charger. So I have this the actual solar panel, a Harbor, Harbor Freight style one right here. So to turn it upside down so it's not getting any kind of light. Um, put down on any type of electricity. We have as an adapter. This is like the adapter I use for my other solar panel, my 90 watt solar panel. That's not made for this one, but works just great with it, but it's just very large. And electrical tape. We'll crimp it and do all that later. It doesn't make any sense to crimp everything and do all that if it doesn't work at all. So go to electric tape. Um, tools you'll need right here for wires, wire cutter. I don't think, I, well, I'll have to actually cut this wire on the, on the actual solar panel. These are already ready to go, red and black. Set that over to the side. We'll do this right now. Make sure I leave a little room just in case I want to put it back together. As you can see, we have white and black and then black. What I like to do here, sometimes you can split them depending on how you cut them. You can just, oh, got it, never mind. Don't need that tool. And then I take it apart like that. There you go, white and black and then just black. A little bit more. Like I said, we're just gonna duct tape, or excuse me, use electrical tape put together for now. If it works, then I'll go back and clean it up and put proper connectors on it and stuff like that. But it's no use to do that if it doesn't work at all. So, you know, we just need to defeat the purpose, right? I'm gonna take the white and black, put it with the red. Just like this. Right now, and like I said, clean it up later, not right now. We're not doing all that if it doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. Pull it apart right there a little bit more. Black and black. Pull it. Fold it good enough. Just like that, don't let them touch. You're gonna take electrical tape. Once I find clean it up and put it together properly. Right now, this is just the test. We're getting ready to go take it outside right now. We're gonna test it in the sun. No gimmicks, we have it in the sun. Here's all the wires right here. It's all in the sun. Now let's plug it in and see. This is not what, this is what I'm not getting. Check this out, let's see here. If you can see, it went up to 99%, was it 97%? It's not showing the input from the solar panel, right? But it's slowly climbing. It's very odd, right? But it's not showing like the data up there but you see it went to 99 it was at 97 what do you guys think all right looking at this right now seeing if i can get a good picture it went all the way to 39 percent or excuse me 100 percent and that's with this charging my um drill charge battery and an old phone this is plugged in clearly see both are correct red is positive Positive goes with the black and white cable on here, which is positive too. 
it is putting a charge into it. It just doesn't show what the output is. That's what kills me. I'm confused on that. So I'm curious how much it's taking in. It can't take, obviously it can't take in 60 watts or anything. It can't be no more than 20 watts. But it bumped it from 97 to 100% with an output of 31. Solar panel or just how low wattage it is. And it just doesn't read it out because the 90 watt would read out on here. So, but it's working. It charged it up. All right, I'll use it in a bind. All right, I want to show you right now. It's at 98 with a 31 draw, 31 watt draw. That is this old phone and my drill battery charging. So I dropped it to 98. Here is, make sure this is the solar panel right there out in the sun, late day sun. Now let's plug it in and see if it makes it go up. The blue light is on. And the battery, drill battery is plugged in the side right there running. Let's see if it moves it up. It's at 98% right now. It just went to 99. So this little solar panel is charging it. I'll look online and tell you the exact specs of what it is. Bumped it up to 99, right? There it goes. Bumped it to 100%. I moved it to right there because the sun is starting to go down. The little solar solar panel does charge it everyone right the little experiment worked now remember i'm gonna go back through clean it up put some uh wire connectors on metal wire connectors on here clean it up you know do all that good stuff i have some around the house the black and white wire is your positive red when you get the i'll put a, a link to the adapter i have that i got on amazon that you can use and the um the red, of course, is positive, and it should be marked anyway, so red goes with the black and white wire. And like I said, don't just leave it like this. Clean it up, put some metal connectors on it where they connect together and everything, and then throw some, uh, some wire on it. Uh, excuse me, some electrical tape or some shrink wire, shrink wrap wire, um, cable coverings on here too. I think I have some around here somewhere. So I found out with this, it is... Harbor Freight 1.5 watts, so it does charge it. The reason it's probably not showing up is that the charge is so small. It's 1.5 watts is what it is. It's a Thunderbolt, $14.99. Uh, it's a trickle charger for your car. Uh, it did not work when I plug it in my car and make it go all weird and stuff When you, because it's supposed to plug in and trickle charge your battery, but some modern electronics, it don't work like that. It just made my car weird, uh, make lights come on and different stuff. So it was $14.99 at Harbor Freight. You can probably get them other places. You can probably get others that are more. It's not even like I was saying, it was probably 12 watts. No, it's 1.5 watts. So that's why it's not showing up. But I tell you what it did. It did take these from 97 to 100% in less than a half an hour. Now when you're running stuff, of course it's not gonna do like that. But for me, only running a refrigerator, I could use it with my stuff, or if my little Jackery 160 was low, I could plug it in there and get some juice in it without having, while I'm camping and not have to start up my car, especially if I'm not running anything on it. Um, just use it way how it is. It's, it'd be an emergency one for me. I'll keep it and use it with my uh, when I'm on the road because I end up going to a hotel or something every other day or when I'm vacationing, I end up driving, charging my stuff. But I'm glad I have this. This is definitely working to bind. I hope this helps somebody who may need this. Or you just might want to have it around your house in case of emergency. You know, power goes out or whatever. You got this. But if this little 1.5 watt would work with it, with the adapter, the Jackery Gold Zero adapter, then guess what? Um, a bigger one would, a 10 watt. If I, I'm going to look and see if I can find a 10 water. And if I can, hey, that's even better. I'll definitely use one of these because my other solar panel is huge and it works great and it, it powers up my stuff or charges my stuff really fast, but it takes up a lot of room and I may be downsizing into another vehicle for uh, a long trip I got planned later, later on in August or so. Um, 
into a smaller vehicle so I can't have that huge thing with me. So for boondocking and different stuff too. I hope this holds. I'm actually glad. I haven't, I bought this and haven't even used it for anything. And I probably have it two or three years. So worked with the Jackery 160, brought it to 100% in the sun. The 240, it worked with it too. For this, I want a little bit bigger or a little more efficient than this one because this is a cheap Harbor Freight one. Uh, if you can find one more efficient, you know, like 12 to 20 watts, hey, that's a even better, you know. Uh, only thing I wouldn't do with these is once, if I, if say my Jackery's are at, oh, 95%, unless I'm sitting right there, I would not have this plugged in. I don't know how well the Jackery's work in regards to stopping charge, which I'm hoping they work really well, but I'm not going to chance it. Um, now, if it's at 80% or something, of course, I would just plug it right in for a while anyway. So, anyway, this is Frugal Panda. I hope this helps somebody. It's just something I thought of today. I said, let me try this, see if it works. Everyone have a good day.